Okay, in this, uh, these two problems, uh, I refer to them as the animals and legs, heads, eyes, ears, whatever they may be talking about, limbs, um, type of problem. But essentially what we're given is we're given a total number of animals and we're given something about one of the characteristics of the animals and we're supposed to learn uh, some things. So in this first problem it says a farmer has pigs and chickens in a fenced-in area. If there are 20 animals and 68 legs, how many chickens are there? Well, we first have to realize that pigs have four legs and chickens have two legs. And so that's the key difference between the two. And the way I like to approach these problems is to first do one of the extremes. So for instance, we could say, what if we had all chickens? So if we had all chickens, that means that we would have 40 legs, 20 chickens times two legs. Now, obviously, we need 68 legs, so that's not enough. So we replace one of the chickens with a pig. And so now we have 19 chickens, which is 38, and one pig, which is 4, and that is 42. And if you think about that a little bit, what happened is, every time we replace a pig, a chicken with a pig, we add two legs. Well, if we started with 40, and we need to get to 68, we need to add 28 legs, which means 28 divided by 14, or by 2, equals 14. And so we need 14 pigs, and we're going to need, that means, 6 chickens. And so the answer is 6 chickens. Uh, and number 2, it says on Mars there are triads that have 3 eyes, and pentiads that have 5 eyes. At a space station there are 86 eyes and 26 aliens. How many of these aliens are in pentiads? So again, we do the same thing. We start with um, all of one of the two. So we're going to start with all triads. Well, if we had all triads, that'd be 26 times 3 uh, eyes, and so we'd have 78 eyes. But we don't need 78 eyes, we need 86, and so that means we need to add 8 eyes. And so every time we replace a triad with a pentiad, we go from 3 eyes to 5 eyes, so that means we are adding 2 eyes. So uh, the difference is 8, so we do 8 divided by 2, which is 4, which means we need to add 4 pentiads, and so the answer to this question is 4 pentiads. And then the number of um, triads would just be 26 minus 4, which would be 22.